section. This is our music video. Our um, genre is indie pop, and our target audience is basically anyone from the age of 16 all the way up to 40. Uh, yeah, uh, our target audience ranges so far because, um, like, at the start of our video, you can see we've got a bit of acting. We try to link it to sort of like an in between us um, idea because um, like, it's a song that's been used in the show, so um, try to like, reenact sort of a scene that would, uh, would link well to that. And then um, the song's also featured in like, a Bailey's advert, which is like, stereotypically drunk, uh, drink, like it's been drunk by older women, so um, like old age groups would enjoy the song as well, so they'd probably like, listen, to the, listen to the song and they'd see the video and think, like, I'll watch that sort of thing. So. Um, also, we put a four music logo on the top corner because we think that that's the sort of channel that would stereotypically play the song because of the genre in the part. Yeah, um, we've got like uh, quite a, the tag audience would be um, quite a, quite a wide range of different people as well. So obviously it's a hybrid genre, so um, different like different uh, genres have like different tag audiences. So we'd be like reaching out to both male and female viewers probably. Um, our audience would be quite passive to be honest because um, it's got quite a clear like beginning, middle, and end due to the like acting at the start, it sort of tells the sets up the story and stuff and you can tell the story quite easily. In what other ways does your music video suit your target audience then? Um, it kind of suits the indie, indie genre because we're in like a, like a natural location, like the countryside, and then the pop genre we kind of move to like the city, which is more like Busted in yeah. the bit that was just like on there, where it's like, like that, it's like yeah. busted in there with yeah. lots of people. It's more like, more modern yeah. for a pop, and then more like, well, at the start, and it's in the rural areas and things like that. It's more in the natural colours and things. What uses and gratifications do you think the target audience could get from this music video? Um, probably linked to the main actors of the things. Like the obviously age groups so wide that everyone like everyone experiences relationships and breaks up just um, especially like at quite a young age, there's yeah. a lot of like, emotions going around and so forth. It's very emotional. Yeah. It's quite it's quite like people don't really see it as a strong like social issue like drugs and alcohol but love yeah. and like it's relationships it's quite a big very strong. Yeah. yeah. Try to use like some Love kind of colours, so the red is on the top and like the pink pillow and stuff, so it shows um, stereotypical colours for like, love and stuff. Um, also, the fast movement of the song, like a fast paced song, like makes it to pop. Yeah, yeah, and you can tell like the acoustic background is quite, quite white. It's um, sort of the, the pop, 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 and the indie rock sort of comes in, like, um, that's what makes it quite indie, like the acoustics and stuff. Yeah. Costumes as well, worn yeah. by the two people in the videos that are like very indie kind of style. Got like um, skinny jeans and yeah. hoodies and stuff, so you can see it all the way through there. Um, and like the coat Ashley's wearing there, it's quite like a, quite an indie coat, sort of making what? our own sort of state. What would you do in the future in order to develop it so it suited the target audience more? Um, maybe try and like, obviously, if we had like more time and stuff, more. Yeah. Um, and like a bit of a budget or whatever, we probably try and get some more actors in there. So yeah, yeah. Like, like, have maybe like different instead of like one couple, maybe yeah. have like three or four different couples to show different types of like relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously different couples just like wearing different things, so you can link it a bit more to like to the pop end. Yeah. You could have like wearing really bright colours, and then like to the indie end, you can make it like really like abstract and something that like, other people wouldn't really wear. Sort of thing. So it's not too like stereotypical. So it makes it a bit more. Out there, sort of thing. Um, and like, uh, yeah, probably um, a few more locations, maybe. Yeah, like, so, so yeah. there was like uh, maybe like a river feeding ducks or something. Yeah, like yeah. Some yeah. more romantic. Yeah, things. yeah more romantic things as well. Maybe, but overall, I think it's quite. I think it's quite good. There's quite a lot of different like, yeah. places, and they're all quite. They all show the theme of the video, which is like. Represented in the lyrics, sort of thing, with like love and like boys and girls, sort of thing. So it's quite good. How do you think it fits in with other music videos of the same genre? Um, I 
think like having um, a strong narrative yeah. fits in quite well because a lot of uh, music videos like have strong narratives. Although um, like pop videos are sometimes a bit more like concept, yeah. But because um, it's not like a fully pop video, then it's not it's, like, it's not as a concept based. And the like lip syncing stuff kind of went against like, like yeah. conventions because most of them like they're playing instruments yeah. as well or something. But um, I think we just decided to go for like, simple lip syncing, which is also similar to like Snow Patrol and stuff. They do like lip syncing that way rather than having that like, through performance. So. so, would you say that you've used a mixture of codes and conventions from various genres? Yeah, I probably say so because because I've like actual songs, quite a, quite a hybrid of genres. Like, you could link it to like acoustic, pop, rock, indie, so. Got a lot of different things in there, so. Was that deliberate or or was it not intentional? I think it was quite deliberate because then we had like quite a lot of freedom to do whatever we wanted with the video rather than being stuck on one one genre sort of having to base it all around that we could be a bit more like out there doing do things a bit differently because it's a bit of a different song. So. As a consequence of that, do you think it's actually widened your target audience? By having a mixture of genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It reaches out to everybody. Yeah. Because there's so many, so much. I mean, you would. I reckon, like, we put four music over, but I think we can sell it to pretty much any, like, yeah, any, any, any music music channel. channel. Perhaps not the like hard metal ones or anything, because it get just laughed at. But like, yeah, maybe the mainstream kind of one. Mainstream like, pop TV. Like, having the pop in there, like, because obviously yeah. pop is like pop in the music. It spreads it over yeah. across like a lot of. A lot of like, music channels will buy it and sell it like, and uh, exhibit it quite well. So, yeah.